Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to view a summary of the series Modular Sprite Sheets as used for guests in Battleground Tycoon. Let's begin! So the goal in this series is to create a modular sprite sheet so we can have near-infinite variations. This technique is used in Battleground Tycoon for making each guest look unique. In the end we will have a very unique guest as well as the ability to save and load the same sprite sheet. In the first video, we're going to see how the base sprite sheet is set up, where each body part goes, and how they're used. We're going to learn how to read a texture in code and copy pixels. In doing so, we're going to do a simple composition of the final sprite sheet by selecting several possible heads and bodies. Then, with the knowledge of simple copy-paste of pixels, we will compose the head sprite from various hair and beards. So we will have a texture with just an empty head, along with a texture containing multiple beards and another one with various hairstyles. Through code, we will pick a random beard and random hairstyle and compose all three elements into the final sprite sheet. With that, we will then look into how to tint individual pixels. We will learn how we can get multiple hair colors by using a base white texture and tinting it with a specific color. That way we add a lot more variation while still using the same base beard and hairstyles. Then using the same strategy, we will modify the skin color. So taking a white texture of the face, we will apply a tint. However, we do not want to tint the eyes, so we will learn how to apply a tint, but only when inside a mask texture. After that, we will take what we learned to apply a primary and secondary body color. We will then set up the base body texture to have some preset colored parts and some white parts that will be tinted. Then we will use a mask texture, which will contain the information for where to apply the primary and secondary colors. So with all of those parameters, we will have pretty much infinite amount of variation for our guest sprites. The last thing we will need is some way to save and load. So we will create a class to hold all the various parameters that make up a specific sprite sheet, like the hair index and skin color. Then we will use JSON as our simple file format to save and load the exact same sprite sheet every time. So that's the plan for the modular sprite sheet series. You can pick up the game on Steam to see the guest variation in action. This series will teach you all you need to know to manipulate textures with code so you can compose your own sprite sheets in any way you want. So go watch the playlist and begin learning right now. As always you can download the project files and utilities for each video in the series from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.